What's going on, everybody? My name is Kelvin, and this is a public service announcement. Yes, a public service announcement. I've been having a discussion, an argument, a whatever you want to call it, with somebody. You know who it is. I'm not even going to go that far because I'm going to reply to his message about the fact that theory and hypothesis are the same. They're interchangeable. You can use theory and hypothesis equally. Okay. Well, I'm calling the show Nail in the Coffin. There is no way that he can prove me wrong after this. I have three pages open that I'm about to show you and I'm about to read from every single page this information that is given me off the internet, I mean, so, just watch, okay. Alright. Had to switch it over to my desktop. Okay. This says, scientific hypothesis theory law definitions. We don't need law, but it's included. Words have precise meanings in science. For example, theory, law, and hypothesis don't all mean the same thing. Outside of science, you might say that something is just a theory. Explaining that generally is accepted to be true. Here's a closer look at these important, commonly misused terms. Hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess based on observation. Usually a hypothesis can be supported or refuted through experimentation or more observation. A hypothesis can be disproven but not proven to be true. Example. If you see no difference in the cleaning ability of various laundry detergents, you might hypothesize that cleaning effectiveness is not affected by which detergent you use. You can also see this hypothesis can be disproven if a stain is removed by one detergent and not another. That means it's disproven. On the other hand, you cannot prove the hypothesis even if you never see a difference in the cleanliness of your clothes after trying a thousand detergents. There might be one you haven't tried that could be different. Now let's go to theory. A scientific theory summarizes a hypothesis or group of hypotheses that have been supported with repeated testing. A theory is a valid as, as long as there is no evidence to dispute it. Therefore, theories can be disproved. Basically, if evidence accumulates to support a hypothesis, then the hypothesis can become accepted as a good explanation of phenomena. Once the definition of a theory is to say is to say it's an accepted hypothesis. One definition of a theory is to say is an accepted hypothesis. But after after where's it at? After the testing. Okay, example. It is known that on June 30th, 1908, in Tuskegee, Siberia, there was an explosion equivalent to the detonation of about 15 million tons of TNT. Many hypotheses have been pr proposed of what caused this explosion. It is theorized that the explosion was caused by a natural extraterrestrial phenomenon and was not caused by man. Is this theory a fact? since you were asking me about that. No, the event is a recorded fact. This is the theory generally accepted to be true based on evidence to date. Yes, can this theory be shown to be false and disregarded? Yes, but it's not, a, but it's not right now. They have no evidence to disprove that. That makes it a theory. It's past the stages of hypothesis. Next page. Defining the words, this is not, I didn't do this, this is somebody's own uh, Yahoo questions thing and I was just looking around and I found it. Okay. 
Hypothesis, an explanation of natural phenomena based on observations and the use of logic. Most importantly, a true hypothesis is testable via experimentation. Theory, any hypothesis that hasn't been rejected after countless reputation via experimentation by countless scientists. Scientists. Theory is the highest degree to which any scientific explanation of something can achieve. Therefore, the mantra of it is just a theory is pat pathetic and carries absolutely no weight with someone who has even a basic understanding of science. I have a blah 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 blah. Da -da 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 -da. Just read I assumed you were looking for scientific definitions of these terms rather than the classic ones. If I assume wrong, please forgive me. But we already know what you and I are talking about. We're talking about scientific definitions. Here's the last page of the three. A theory is a well-established principle that has been developed to explain some aspect of the natural world. A theory arises from repeated observation and testing and incorporates facts, laws, predictions, and tested hypotheses that were widely accepted. A hypothesis is a specific, I'm sorry, a specific testable prediction about what you expect to happen in your study. They haven't studied it yet. For example, a study designed to look at the relationship between study habits and test anxiety might have a hypothesis that states the study is designed to access the hypothesis that the students with better study habits will suffer less test anxiety. Unless your study is exploratory in nature, your hypothesis should always explain what you expect to happen during the course of your experiment research. While terms are sometimes used interchangeably in a general practice, the difference between a theory and a hypothesis is important when studying experimental design. Some important distinctions to note include that theory predicts events in general terms, while the hypothesis makes a specific prediction about a specified set of circumstances. A theory has been extensively tested and is generally accepted, while a hypothesis is not a speculative guess that has yet to be tested. Wow, that was mind blowing. Very mind blowing. <laughs> okay, that took me seven minutes and fifty seconds to do, but that's okay. I can deal with that, you know, because it's a point that I'll be proven. Sorry if you thought this was gonna be a video of me apologizing because I'm wrong. No, because I knew I was right the whole time. You're refusing to accept the fact that you're wrong, okay? How do you disprove me now? How can you prove me wrong? Let's see what else you have in your little bag of tricks to say that I'm not right. Because all this information that I just showed you, and I'm sure if you, anybody else who watches this video will probably agree with me that hypothesis and theory are not the same thing. Alright. Bye. This discussion is closed and over. That's why I'm calling it the nail in the coffin.